Hello and welcome to another episode. When I had the EV6, I made a couple of videos on how to escape the EV6 in an emergency. Say, if the deadlocks were on and, and the, say that you're in an accident and the 12 volt battery was crushed and there's no power to open the doors, you've got to exit by the tailgate. Now, as you can see in this video clip, it's hard when it was in the EV6, you had to put the physical key into a slot, which is difficult enough. After, that's after climbing into the boot and move it sideways. But as you're watching the clip, it, it was a pain in the bum to do. But I'm glad to say the EV3 has massively improved the situation. So I'm going to demonstrate how to exit the car. I'm going to leave all the crap in the dog box and I'll, I'll, I'll do it with my head cam so you can see what I have to do to get out. And hopefully you can see it's much easier and you don't need a physical key to put in the slot because they've changed the design. There is the manual release. You stick the manual key end in there and you've got to slide it across. Right, you have to take the manual key out like that. And then you've got to get the key in there and pull it that way. It's quite hard to do. There we go, and the manual release of the tailgate, and that's your emergency route out. You just have to push that up. Now, if you look up, you can see there's a new panel, which you can unclip, and then there's just a slidey catch in there, which I'll demonstrate when I'm in the car. Right, so, that in. You've got to undo the dog box. Claps it. Pull that down. Stick my finger in. That's it. I'm out. Just going to push that up then. There we go. Now I'm going to try and escape through the boots um, with nothing in the car to show you how quickly I can get out. Remember, this circumstance can arise if you're in an accident and you're unable to open the doors or windows, if you've been hit from the side and the top-up battery has been damaged and there's no power to open the deadlocks on the doors or the windows. So it's worthwhile knowing. So let's go for it. And I'll uh, put a stopwatch on the, on the screen. Right, there it goes. And this time I won't bother taking out. Or maybe I do need to take out the parcel shell. There we go, and out in that time.
as you can see, it's so much easier to escape from this EV3 than it was to the EV6 original version and the Nero EV, which had the slidey thing in the boot. So, an improvement. Have they been watching my videos again? Because so many things I've suggested or pointed out over the last three years that have come into new gears. So, are they watching? Don't know. But I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.